What's your name, sir? Dan Dan Liz. Mr. Lance, you've been charged with domestic assault and a misdemeanor. I'm not asking whether you agree with the charge, but do you understand what you've been charged with? Yes. You need to go over your rights. You have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to say anything about your charge. If you give up that right, if you, anything you do say may be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney represent you if you cannot afford one. I can appoint one to represent you, and you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on the charge where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there is probable cause for the charge to be prosecuted. Do you understand those rights? I do. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you swear from the answers you gave on your affidavit or true? I do. Thanks, sir. How long have you lived in, you can put your hand down. How long have you lived in Knoxville? I've lived here since September. No, yeah, early September. Oh, so just, just a few months? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Lange, your bail is set at $3,000, subject to the following conditions regarding the alleged victim, Anisha Bonioma, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, you're, you are prohibited from committing or threatening to commit the offense set forth in the arrest warrant against the alleged victim or any other household member. You are prohibited from harassing, annoying, telephoning, contacting, or otherwise communicating with the alleged victim, either directly or indirectly. That would include, but not be limited to, telephoning, emailing, texting, speaking to, or using a third party to contact the alleged victim. Lastly, you must vacate and stay away from the home of the alleged victim in any other location where the alleged victim is likely to be. Okay. I'm going to appoint the Knox County Public Defender's Office to represent you. I'm waiving the administrative fee. Your case will be set initially for uh, this Wednesday, the 4th, that's the first That's a first court date that's available because the court's closed um, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday because of the holiday. So uh, if you make bond before then, they will be giving you a new court date that'll be out a few weeks. But if you haven't made bond, you'll be in court Wednesday. The judge will reconsider your bond at that time. And that'll be in misdemeanor court uh, Wednesday, the 4th. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know Yep. Power. What's your name, sir? Alex Howard. Please enter your security. Mr. Howard, you've been charged with theft under $1,000. That's an A misdemeanor. I'm not asking whether you agree with the charge, but do you understand what you've been charged with? Yes, sir. 
You need to go over your rights. You have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to say anything about this case. If you give up that right, anything you do say may be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. If you cannot afford one, I can afford one to represent you. And you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on the charge where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there is probable cause for the charge to be prosecuted. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And do you swear from the answers you gave on your affidavit are true? Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Is this $250 a week? Yeah, that's, it's rough, roughly. Roughly, it's okay. Rough, uh, and how long have you lived in Knoxville? Uh, that's actually a Jeff County address. How long have you lived there? Uh, all my life. That's my yeah. mom's address. I moved out for a little bit and moved back. Jefferson County? Okay. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Looks like there's uh, some matters out of Fourth Circuit holding you, maybe child support issue or something. Yeah. Okay. Your bail is going to be set at $500 with the condition you have no contact with the alleged victim, Brandon Foss. Yeah. I'm going to appoint, I'm sorry. I, I think you're reading somebody else's thing. I don't know nothing about that. You're, you're Isaac Ed, Edwin Howard. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, sir. I didn't recognize the name. Brandon, Brandon Foss is the alleged victim. Okay. If you okay. don't know who that is, they should be easy to stay away from. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to appoint the Knox County Public Defender's Office to represent you. It will be a $50 administrative fee assessed due by the 13th of January. If you cannot pay it by then, don't worry. They will add it to your other court cost. The case will be set initially this Wednesday, the 4th, in misdemeanor court for a bond hearing. If you're able to bond out before then, they'll set a new court date for you that'll be out a few weeks. Okay. Obviously, you'll want to wait and make sure you get your Fourth Circuit matter cleared up too before, because otherwise you'd be paying bond for and not going anywhere. So. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. Williams. Go to Williams. Yes, sir. You have the following charges. Possession of drug paraphernalia, a misdemeanor. Simple possession, a name misdemeanor. Possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, e-felony. Theft of property over 10000 but less than 60000 in value, a C-felony. Unlawful removal or alteration of a registration tag, A, misdemeanor. Driving on a suspended license, B, misdemeanor. Possession of a handgun, another possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, E-felony. Uh, simple possession of methamphetamine, A misdemeanor. Simple possession of marijuana, A misdemeanor. And that appears to be all of them. I'm not asking whether you agree with all those charges, but do you understand what you've been charged with? Yeah. You need to go over your rights. You have the right to remain silent. No one can force you to say anything about these cases. If you give up that right, anything you do say may be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. If you cannot afford one, I can appoint one to represent you. And you have the right to have a preliminary hearing on these charges where a judge would listen to evidence and determine whether there is probable cause for the charges to be prosecuted. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And do you swear from the answers you gave on your affidavit are true? It's true. Thanks, sir. How long have you lived in Knoxville? Um, maybe a couple months. Where'd you live before that? Uh, I lived in Maryville. Okay. How long did you live in Maryville? A year. A year. Probably longer than a year. Okay. 
Spanish this week. His acres this week. Okay. But she doesn't need to contact her again. Yeah. Right. So. Um, all you know, too. I would call down there and see if they know anybody from your ship that was there, too. Uh, I think Officer Cox was looking like directly in our What? Well, I'm it's a her, but no, I'm saying like she was the one who was in the park on the So you might go to Cox. I don't know. But she didn't know how they were saying she people were there. Just waiting for your warrants to print out, then we'll go over your bond amounts, make sure you have an attorney and set your initial court date. Okay, the bonds are as follows on the, well, let me get these situated here. Each of the uh, web, felony weapons charges, bail is set at $4,000 on each of those. And then on the theft charge, the felony theft charge, $7,500. Um, and then on each of the felonies, I'm sorry, each of the misdemeanors, $500.
By math, this correct your total bond is 18500 I'm going to appoint the Knox County Public Defender's Office to represent you. I'll be waiving the administrative fee. Your cases we set initially for this Thursday, I'm sorry, this Wednesday, the 4th, in felony court for a bond hearing. If you're, uh, it looks like you've got a hold out of Hamlin County. So uh, you may want to hold off making bond until you get um, your matter set here. Or if you make bond, though, you'll go to Hamlin County first before coming back here. Um, if, but uh, we'll go ahead and set you on this Wednesday in felony court for a bond hearing. Judge will reconsider your bond at that time. Good, good, and the public defender's office is be representing you, and I'm waiving the administrative fee. Good luck to you, sir. All right, sir. That's all I have for now. Thank you.